and it's Saturday morning and we're up again before sunrise heading off to the rally we do a lot of this preparing getting the cameras ready cleaning um, lots of cleaning lots of cleaning lots of dust and uh, this is where we are Mike's here quickly <laughs> this is where we are as you can see it's absolutely the most beautiful part of or one of the most beautiful parts of South Africa and like Dave was saying we wouldn't really see this if we weren't out on a rally. So welcome to day two of the 2013 Volkswagen Rally. Day one provided lots and lots of action, but in roads like these up in the beautiful Longmore Forest, if you're not killing bugs with your side windows, you're just not trying hard enough. Anyway, day, day one ended with Mark Cronier with a defendable 26 second lead ahead of Jan Habich, um, both of them in, fe in Fiestas. Leroy Poulter is uh, third for Toyota and the best Volkswagen is in fourth place. Chad van Bieden and Henry Dearlove are leading the Super 1600 class ahead of Clint Weston in the Citroen. We're out bright and early so and, and really looking forward to some fantastic action. Um, Jan Habich, Leroy Poulter, Hürgen Fecken, Enzo Kuhn, they're all going to be hounding Mark Cronier trying to snatch those tenths of a second and get up onto the podium and stay there, beat him. Someone needs to stop the Ford steamroller and they're all going to be giving their level best. Uh, we'll bring you the action as the day pans out and one thing you can be sure of, there's going to be lots and lots of action out there. Day 2 of the Volkswagen Rally 2013, the 31st Volkswagen Rally. It is just not possible to get to the first stage of the day and make it back to Longmore Forest. So we've decided to abandon the millet stage as we would have only seen 10 cars anyway. So for stage 10, which is pretty spectacular, bit of a free car wash close to the end. Enzo could put the hammer down to snatch the scratch time from Henk Lautenheim, a Volkswagen 1-2, which will keep the sponsors and local motor manufacturer very, very happy. But they're really out of the fight. It's really academic. Mark Renier had a puncture and was only the eighth fastest, but his lead, frankly, is so big it really makes no difference. Um, bit of luck, his, his puncture did come towards the end of the stage, otherwise he may have had to stop and change the tyre. That would have changed the rally. He turned it on his head, but it didn't happen. So, we're off to stage 11. Well, that was a pretty close call there for you. You got a mud shower. Yeah, not bad. More, more mud than anything else. But, you know, let's get back to Take a picture of this camera. Yeah. See the dead rise from that grave. See the blood over the eyes. Just another day at rally, eh? That's great fun. It beats the crap out of cutting the grass.
heading from the high up in the mountains down this really radical dirt road back down to Pigi. Okay, he's doing a splendid job. Trying not to break full circle, it's beautiful to pull it up. a great little car, we've got a radical reshake off of all the action it's been through. It's lovely motor cars, I strongly suggest you might buy one. Thank you very much, VW. Absolutely. Dave, you had a couple of close calls there. Um, you literally moved your leg out the way in the last seconds before getting hit. In actual fact, Ashley Hagsmith slightly touched you there. Tell me a little bit about, you know, how close that was. Yeah, Ashley, Ashley was the closest of the lot. He brushed my foot as I decided it was time to move it. Um, you know, the front wheel drive cars sort of slide, then they, they grip as they pull through. So it was a bit, a bit, uh, a bit of a moment there. But there were two or three cars where it was prudent to move one's leg out of the way, you know, or risk getting it taken off. But it was great fun. That's an awesome fun. That's the thing about rally, you know, if you're not out there pushing the envelope like you like to say, then uh, you're just not making enough effort. Well, this is the thing, you know, there's so many people out there with cameras, you know, you need to push the envelope to, to deliver different images, otherwise you've got, everybody's got the same shot. But um, it's great fun, uh, awesome stage. We're here for the final shootout at Kings Beach and the wind is really, really blowing. We've all been watching as airplanes are prevented from landing and have to circle around. They're just being blown around the sky. Anyway, back to the rally. Those looking for a solid result are not going to throw it all away in this last kilometer long stage. So we'll see some great cars, some great action, but we're not going to see any balls to the wall type of driving. Sixteen hundred two-wheel drive class, a great victory for Clint Weston and Christoph Snyder's in the Reef Tankers Citroen C2 R2 Max. Yep, that's what it's called. Second there is the wily old Fox Craig Trot and his young Lucky Charm Janine Lawrence in their Team Total Toyota Runix, followed by the Fragrant Tools Toyota Runix of Matthew Vasey Lyle and Scott Van Heerden. And for those Guy Bottle fans, where did he finish? Yep, he was fourth overall. Guy and Simon Vasey Lyle in the Yato Tools Toyota Renix. In the Super 2000 Challenge class and a remarkable fifth overall, Jean Pierre Damso and Hilton Offrey in their Team Total Toyota Aurus. Second in Challenge class was a, a first finish in the class for Mornay, Janssen van Rensburg, Rikus van Rie, GC Diesel Pumps, Volkswagen, Polo Vivo, and third in challenge is Nick van der Westhuizen and Stefan Siliers, also their first finish in the class in the SA Earthworks Toyota Aurus. So to wrap up the results of the 2013 Volkswagen Rally, Mark Renier, Robin Houghton in their Ford Fiesta won by a pretty dominant near minute and a half. Second overall, Jan Habig, Robert Paisley in another Ford Fiesta sponsored by Basil Reed. Third overall, Dakar hero Janil de Villiers and Greg Godrich in the Imperial Toyota Yaris. Until next month, see you then.